thank God that you can view the show, whether it's in your living room, your bedroom, your kitchen, any other area in your home. We're excited to bring you DAP Ministry Presents. I'm your host, the Reverend Willie Williams, Jr. Excited about the information that you're going to get today. want to say to you that if you haven't been down to the Lord Night Ward, go down to the Light Ward and see. Uh, as as uh, um, I, I just checked uh, uh, recently, and I see on the corner of Fostoff and Claiborne, uh, the sign is up, and they're in the process of building a CVS drugstore down there. But many, many more businesses are needed in that area, as well as uh, some of the, the, the homeowners, uh, they need to come back and rebuild all that blighted property and overgrown lots. Uh, that needs to be eradicated as well. But uh, tell your neighbors, tell your friends, and make sure you tell your relatives that stay away, stay out of state, uh, come down and, and, and view it. Because I, I believe that that area is going to be restored back. God is going to uh, put his hand on that area and, and bring it back. A lot of people, i got a lot of memories about uh, uh, Lower Night Ward. Uh, was born and raised in the Lower Night Ward and, and happy to say I'm from the Night Ward. Uh, and so uh, also we, we're excited about our co-host, uh, the Reverend Darrell Smith, also known as D.K. Smith, 940 a.m. on your radio dial, has a saying that goes like this. Uh, that's right. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., I'll take you home in style with a smile. We also call in the PM pastor because he has his finger on the pulse of what's taking place, not only locally, nationally, but also he has a global effect. In other words, he touched people all the way in Afghanistan, uh, Paris, France. I, I, um, I, I'm asking him. Bosnia. Bosnia. I'm asking him if, if he's starting to touch people in in Cuba, but I I don't, I don't think he had that internet connection Not yet. yet. Not <laughs> yet. No, they don't have the internet. Connection. Oh, I think they have it. No, Cuba, they, they, Cuba is very strict when it comes to having internet. Well, when the Pope was there recently, yeah, they instituted. Um, the short internet. Yeah, yeah. See, so I'm so saying they people, have it. So people can ask questions. Yeah, but they had it. They have it, but they don't. They don't let everybody get on it like we do in America. You know what? The more you, more, the more you say that, the more I think. And um, I think when I say think, I mean T H A N K and also T H I N K. Um, how blessed we are, man! You, you have it, man. How blessed we are here in, this, in the United States. You must have won the spelling me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, am I think? T-H-I-N-K, I got to say thank, T-H-I-N-K, because we are blessed to have the freedom. The freedom, and, and, and those who can um, take access to YouTube, they use the search engine and look up DAP, D-A-P Ministries uh, TV show, and you can look at that and see this and many other shows that we have. But but the main thing is, is the fact that we have, like I said, that freedom, that, um, that ability to do that, you know? Okay. And so um, I tell you what, I'm from the Ninth Ward too, the Lower Ninth Ward. Oh, okay, you own up to that? Yeah, I own up to that. You know, <laughs> grew up on, born on Flood Street, well, born in Charity, but raised on Flood, and um, and, and raised on Charbonnet Street, uh, 19th Thursday Charbonnet. It's nothing but a slab there now, but uh, grew up up until Betsy came. But even back then, as I look back, oh, I don't, I don't even got to go back that far. I just celebrated my 40th class reunion. I mentioned that uh, last week. Um, and, and I won't even say for high school, but the kids these days have more than what we had back when we were in high school. But well, we're still happy, man. Yeah. 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 I, thought, I thought algebra in high school gave me a hard time. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying, you know. Now, I don't want to get too much off the subject and everything, but, you know, when we was growing up, we had to do math. There was an old math and then there's a new math. Now they got some other kind of thing. So still, still new math, man. It's new math to keep, me. As long as you keep living, math's going to be new to somebody. It's still you new to me. Got a couple of I have a couple of announcements. One mm -hmm. is the Second Baptist Church of the Sixth District, which is located at 4218 Laurel Street. Uh, that's Reverend Dr. Samuel Gibbs Jr. is the pastor. Well, the Second Baptist Church of the Sixth District is celebrating Louisiana State Layman Observance Day. And mark it on your calendar. That's for October the 18th, 11 a.m. And the speaker will be Philip Earl Holland. And he's a retired post office of New Orleans. And he belongs to Salem Baptist Church of Lyburn, Georgia. And Richard B. Hayes is his pastor. So that's for the State Layman Observance uh, Day. And we know that this is a new month, October. And October, is uh, we'll be t discussing that with our guests and everything. But uh, First Pilgrims Baptist Church celebrates Pink Sunday. Our First Pilgrims Baptist Church celebrates Pink Sunday. That's the women's ministry anniversary. It's going to be Sunday, October 11th at 7.45 a.m. and 11 a.m. services. The theme is, I'm coming out with my hands up. 
And the scripture is coming from 2 Kings, the 7th chapter, uh, verses 3 and 8. Now, the 7.45 a.m. speaker is Prophetess Terry Boudreaux from Alexandria, Louisiana. And the 11 a.m. speaker is First Lady Janet Vinette um, from the Fifth African Baptist Church, St. Rose. And, of course, I want to let you know that the First Pilgrims Baptist Church is located at 1228 Art Street. Reverend Dr. Eugene Mitchell is the pastor. And all are invited. If you need more information, you contact the church by calling 504 504- 944-0504. And as I always like to say, again, that number is 944-0504. That's the First Pilgrim Baptist Church. I'd like to thank Sister Sandra Metz for passing this information along. And I'm pretty sure she will be our guest before this event happens. You know, I could, I could just see it now. I can see her. I could just see it now sitting where our guest is sitting right now. But we have a guest that's sitting there right now. Won't you introduce our guest who's also a co host, who's yeah. also a. Uh, um, Entrepreneur, mm-hmm. uh, author, author. Uh, man, she, she she's everything. You call me a uh, with the, got the post. She's a wealth of information herself. Yeah, she's a she's a living encyclopedia. There you go, <laughs> there you go. And we happen to have her in living color. Uh, we have um, uh, Donetta Mahaffey, entrepreneur, author, and such a like. Now, we, of course, we mentioned that this is um, October's a new month, but it's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month, also National. Um, Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and so we share with Adornetta what's going on. And I like the fact that you're wearing pink. You got a little pink on. That's amazing because in actuality, I didn't dress according to the, the pink month. of the month. Right. And just that, you know, when we get up, that's the way the Lord guides us. You Amen. know, every step of the way, we take, like you say, things for granted. Mm-hmm. And we're so blessed that, you know, every step of the way, he's with us, leading us, guiding us. I love that. I'm excited about that. Now, we're talking to you about at least two, two aspects. <laughs> uh, one aspect is, is, is breast cancer, and the other as, aspect is talking about uh, d- domestic violence. The awareness, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, it's, it's domestic violence. Right, it, right. It, happens, it happens in America. Um, I don't... I don't I don't have a, a stat on how often it happens, but I know it happens yeah, on, yeah. on a regular basis because um, some of the some of the organizations that I'm aware of, uh, they do things like when it gets to a point where women have to relocate, mm-hmm. and they go to an agency, and the agency does not tell the person where where, where they at because for their safety. Right. But but I want to want to emphasize the importance of, of, of breast cancer awareness because I was fortunate to watch one of the TV shows and uh, one of the y- young ladies that's on uh, Good Morning in America, mm-hmm. <coughs> she was asked to, to go live and take a, a, a mammogram. mammogram right. And at first she said, she don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. Because, you know, her, her family had no history of breast cancer mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So it wasn't anything hereditary. And so she just said, you know, that's, you know. But she was in the age category of about 40 years of age. And Robin Robbins told her, you need to do it. Mm-hmm. You need to do it for the awareness of other women. And so they can go ahead and, and won't be afraid to go ahead and get that check. Shocking as it was, she did the test. Mm-hmm. It came back. At least a week later, she had cancer, but they got it in time. And prevention. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. when you get it done early, that's that's prevention. Prevention, prevention. It's also, uh, um, w- what's your position about that as, as a as a as a female? Well, I mean, reality is, everyone has cancer cells. Mm-hmm. Everybody. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of what makes that cell become active. Mm-hmm. So you know. No one knows what created activity in her body, but when it all boils down, uh, it's the chance that we all take. So if you have an opportunity to get an examination, go and get the examination. Mm -hmm. But this is the thing that will amaze you. Not only does women have breast cancer, so does men. Men have breast cancer. Now that's the part that I think you know, most people need to be made aware of. So the same way women are being encouraged to get breast cancer uh, screenings, well, but, men should get it as well. But they, they don't, we, do they do mammograms for men? How do they, how do, they do the breast cancer? Uh, 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 I know with? of males who've okay. had to have breast removals. One pastor, I'll never forget his diagnosis of breast cancer. Um, that was my first awareness of males having breast cancer. So. There's ways for them to detect and find everything in the body. At one time, you know, they were limited in some of the resources they Mm -hmm. had to be able to explore the body and really see what was going on. Now, 
I mean, they're able to see everything, whether you're male or female. Mm -hmm. So that would be the first thing I would say is not only for uh, females to be checked, but males as well. And the other thing you mentioned in regards to that 40 year range, actually when I was a teenager, one of my teenager friends also oh, had breast cancer, yes, and so it, they had I mean, to go you, in you and remove that, that. What age are you talking about? Uh, we were in the 16 year old bracket. Uh, Mm. And she had breast cancer? Yes. At, at 16? Yes. They well, found a lump, had to remove it. Mm. Mm. So you see, I mean, and let's really get down to this. Uh, one of the things, and DK and I have worked with this over the years, St. Jude's Children Cancer Research. Mm -hmm. Very good program. Now, we've had the privilege to go to Memphis, mm -hmm. meet the scientists, the staff, you know, doctors and nurses, the children, their yeah. families. And cancer has no respect of person. No. Not at all. So and then, then there's no have no respect of age neither. Right? Not at all. Right, right. It has no respect of gender, nationality, age. It has no respect of person. But this is the thing. You know, cancer is uh, something that people don't realize that there are some preventative things that people should do. Number one, when you receive a diagnosis, a diagnosis is a notification that there's an area of your body deteriorating, is dying. First thing you should do is get some alkaline water. See, so when you realize the uh, properties of alkaline, alkaline and cancer cells, they don't work well together. Mm. Alkaline overpowers that. So believe it or not, a tad bit of baking soda in your bottle of water makes your water alkaline. Are you serious? Yes. Man, I'm glad we bring on. I mean, I told you a wealth of information. She gave me free information lid. all the and time. And the reason why uh, I know some of these things is because early on in my media career, I was managing general manager of a radio station, which was WCKW, right. out in the Tri Parish area of Louisiana. Well, if you know anything about that area, that's Garyville, Louisiana. You can always go and satellite this uh, on your map and see exactly where that area is located. It is in the heart of the refineries. Cancer Alley? Yes. Yes. Cancer Corridor. Yes. Some people have... and, and people suffer with that a whole lot in that Down area? Down to the little kids. I never forget mm. the day I was coming out of my door. I have a gift from a child. I can see things. The Lord reveal things to me. I got to stop you. We're going to go to break, but you got me interested. In, and I, I know oh, you want to learn more? Yeah, yeah, you want to yeah, hear yeah. more? Yeah, yeah I want to hear more, okay. but I ha we have okay, to go we'll to a talk break. About it. When, we, when we come back, I, you just enlighten us over and over again. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about some other things as well, but, but to give us that information. We're going to go to a break. We're going to come back and talk to Donetta, and she's going to give us some more information about cancer. Eh? All right. Stay tuned. Poor nutrition today will increase Sarah's chances of anemia, add to her health care costs, sick days, even stunt her ability to learn. And the thing is, Sarah's not even born yet. Get proper nutrition before it's too late. Call or visit WIC. WIC provides nutrition information, health care referrals, even food. Your child has you, and you have WIC. Mrs. Johnson, good to see you again. Uh, this is Mike. You can trust him. He looks just like you. Plus, two against one is more intimidating when we force someone to sign a loan. And I'll be sucking up to you in order to keep up the illusion. So, here are your low monthly payments and interest rate as we promised. Here's where they triple. The rest of this stuff, don't think a lawyer can read this. It protects us. Make sure we get your home when you can't pay us back. Such a lovely house. Yeah. 